Hello everyone, today I'm going to show you how you can play Chrono Cross the Radical Dreamers Edition uh, with the upgraded graphics but with the old style fonts. So first of all I'd like to say thank you to this user Last Dancer on this website Resetra.com who discovered that uh, you can pretty much just uh, grab any of those dat files and click rename change dot dat to bin and you click yes and then you can open it with any uh, app that allows you to uh, to uh, open up uh, zip files or archive files as you can see here hd um, hd dot dat uh, this is the content that's inside and uh, now let's get to it to the actual tutorial for how you can swap the font for the old one. So, uh, in order to do this, uh, you have to go in your Steam folder, uh, Steam Steam Apps, Common, Chrono Cross, the Radical Dreamer Edition, and from there you go in Data. And what you want to edit is the font dot that. So you can just click Rename, put a bin over here, click Yes. Now if you double click it, you will see all of these files inside. I'm just going to reduce this for now. Um, and yeah, make sure to have a, uh, a, a backup. So I've already created, I'll, I'll just re redo the whole step over here. Never mind. So I'll just do this. All right. So I've got all of these files. I can just drag them here, extract them. All right. And now I'm going to create a new folder. Uh, don't care about the name. But basically what you want to do is uh, you have all of these files that say large. And you have all of these files whose name is small. Small is the old font. And large is the new font. So it's a very simple trick where all you have to do is get all of the small files. Go inside, copy, paste them inside the other folder over there. So that you may rename them to large instead. done all right so now that this is done uh, I haven't uh, sent the new files uh, in here yet so I'm just gonna show you a, a clear difference I'm just gonna start the game oh yeah I just got an error that uh, the font cannot load and that this is because right now in my data font dot bin needs to be changed back to uh, that Okay, so we haven't made any change yet. I'm just going to show you the difference. All right, window just opened up there. Second monitor. And as you can see, the title was completely back. This is because I've been I've been experimenting with like mods and stuff. All right. So now let's just go talk to this guy over here. All right. So this is the new font. Like as you can see, it looks really smooth. I'll just close this, go back to our data folder, rename this to dot bin. Are you sure? Yes. Open it up. Now uh, I'm going to grab all of these files here that I've renamed. I'm going to drag them into my RINRAR, but I'm pretty sure it can be other programs. It's going to let it add these files to the the archive. I close this and I go back here and I need to uh, rename my bin to that. Yes. Now I can start the game. As 
you can see, there's already a difference here. I'm just going to click continue. And let me talk to this guy. There you go, the old font. Um, I've got to say, it looks a bit weird to me, maybe because there's uh, some kind of AI upscaling happening as uh, as the game runs with the old font. Um, but that's uh, that's the closest we can get to it. And I can show you, I can open up the menu. Uh, I didn't have a comparison with uh, a high def fonts. Forgot to do it in the menus. But basically, all text now should be uh, with the older style. And yeah, that's it. So uh, I hope uh, this will help you uh, be immersed in the retro style of this game. Alright, and that's it for this tutorial. See ya.